Bone running goes alongside hosting gilded altars for people to train prayer. It's a service where you teleport to the bank and unnote someone's bones for them while they use the bones on a gilded altar, all for a small fee, of course. The world for this is World 31. To start off, advertise your service with a message such as Running Bones, PM me for details, at open gilded altars or in friends chats dedicated to gilded altars such as Altar Friends Chat. You may have to say your message several times before someone messages you saying they are interested. Once someone is interested, they will probably ask what your rates are. Standard rates are 1 mil per hour or 25k per inventory. If you charge too little, they may think you're scamming. If you charge too much, you won't get anyone. Keep in mind the point is to provide a legitimate service to people without scamming them, of course. How you may ask the someone scam at bone running? Simply put, they run off with the bones their employer gave them. If you scam one person, your reputation is ruined. So basically, don't scam anyone. It doesn't pay off in the long run. Moving on, so you've got someone interested and they accept your rates. Note that payment always takes place up front to prevent yourself from being scammed into running bones with no pay at the end. I say this because I've had it happen to me before. I choose to glory to Draenor Village instead of Edgeville because it's less crowded at Draenor Village. All of these methods require you to have level 50 construction and to have your house in Yanil. Set your home teleport arrival spot to outside the portal for faster returning to the house your employer is in when teleporting back from the bank with your house teleport tablet. There are three ways you can run bones for someone. Number one, they pay you one mil and give a set amount of bones, for example 1,000 noted bones, and you use the mounted glory, which is next to or close to the altar in most homes, to teleport to Draenor Village and deposit the money in bones. You then take out 27 or 26 bones, depending on if the employer has money in their inventory along with the noted bones or not, and teleport back to give them to the employer, receiving nothing in return each trip. Repeat until you've traded back all the bones in unnoted form. They will probably hire you for another hour or two at this point. Here's how I do it. Number 2. They pay you 25k and give you 26 noted bones the first trip. You glory to Draenor Village, deposit the money in bones, and take out the 26 bones. Then teleport back and give them the 26 unnoted bones in exchange for 26 noted bones and another 25k. Do this until you or your employer wishes to stop. When this happens, give them the 26 unnoted bones but asking for nothing in return. They may or may not pay you after the last trip. It's really up to them. Here's how I do it.
Number 3. Using frost dragon bones, they give you 29 noted bones every trip. You glory to drain our village, deposit the bones, and withdraw 27 unnoted bones. Then teleport back and give them the 27 unnoted bones in exchange for 29 more noted bones and repeat. If your employer is using dragon bones, ask for 32 bones in exchange for 27 unnoted bones to cover roughly the same amount of payment per trip. Here's how I do it. Use whichever of these methods best suits your employer, as they're the ones paying you, so they should at least get to choose which method they like best. From experience, I can say that the first method is slightly faster, because you don't have to wait for your employer to put up 25k cash and 26 unnoted bones, or 27 slash 32 bones every trade, for instance. Use these methods, and you can make upwards of 10 mil a day, especially if your employer gives you big bonuses for being fast. Thanks for watching, and please rate, comment, and subscribe for more.